all the time, but we need to, we're about an inch behind, so this will be good. Yeah. All right. Thanks very much, Ken. Okay. Today on Telepol, we asked a question about the budget talks going on in Washington and the budget deficit. We asked if you feel that the White House, uh, then the president, is chiefly to blame for the budget problems. There's your answer. 37% saying they agree with that, but 63% saying it's not primarily the president's fault. Well, it's harvest time in the potato fields in Maine. Farmers in the Exeter and Corinth areas, as well as growers in Arusta County, are bringing in Maine's biggest agricultural crop right now. These scenes were taped by news watcher Bruce Nett near Fort Fairfield. Growers up north have said the crop looks pretty good, and they are hoping, as always, for a good price to go along with the good potato crop. The harvest begins very early in the morning, and for three decades, as all kinds of county people have had their own special way of starting the workday at harvest time. News Center's Bob Elliott reports tonight on a county tradition, the Potato Pickers Special. It's harvest time in Aroostook County. In the next three weeks, the people here will dig up two billion pounds of potatoes. Needless to say, these folks go to work early, but not before they watch a TV show called The Potato Pickers Special, starring John Logan. Here's John Logan. <laughs> Yahoo. Holy lightning. Is this it? Are we here? We're here. Good morning out there, world. Potato Pickers Special, 764-4461 is our number, and if you need this, why well, holler. The Potato Pickers Special is a down-home sort of public service show. Starts at 4.30, runs to 6.30 a.m. Its primary goal is to let workers know who's picking taters and who ain't. Mike Sandstrom of Stockholm says, go to bed. Uh, if not going to dig today, roll right over. But the show also gives you news, sports, breakfast, and entertainment. Please welcome this year's Miss Potato Blossom, Betsy Ann Tweedy. Though the mountains divide and the oceans are wide, it's a small world after all. Now, there's usually a lot of pull-your-hair-out pressure in the TV business. Not here on the Potato Pickers special. This show is so laid back, it's like going to a local diner to get a cup of coffee and shoot the breeze. There's an unsightly lump in the middle of that one. I'm not sure. <laughs> you guys say hey, it's every man for himself when this happens, you know. And why is this show so relaxed? Well, for one thing, there's no ratings race. WAGM is number one. In fact, it's the only one, the only TV station in Aroostook County. And that lets them do things their way. We're not interested in glitz. Uh, what we're interested in is getting good information on the air, and, uh, and getting it on as timely as possible. Let the harvest begin. In Arista County, Bob Elliott, News Center. This will be a pretty good harvest season for one family in Arista County. Uh, Norman Blotner of Presque Isle says he plans to fly his daughter and son-in-law home to Maine from Japan for Christmas with part of his winnings from the Tri-State Megabucks game. The 61-year-old Blotner was in Augusta today to claim the $1.2 million jackpot. He will collect $60,000 a year for 20 years. And besides tickets, that certainly would buy a lot of potatoes and just about anything else that you want. Well, we've got a uh, big, big night coming up in sports. And what do we have to look forward to? Bangor Brewer game. We'll have highlights from there. We'll also